folks, we're working on Crestos lichen identification today here in the lab. And the first thing we're going to do is learn how to cross section an apothecia. So you've been provided with a double edged razor and I wanna show you how to properly and carefully fold it in half in order to break it into two pieces so that you have less of a chance of uh, cutting yourself. Okay, so if you open, carefully open this, we're gonna grab it by the side and you'll see that there's a razor on the top and a razor on the bottom. And you're gonna to wanna to carefully fold this in half and I'm gonna show you how. So I'm gonna direct the camera down here, the table. So you're just gonna hold it by the two edges and kind of set it down and then just carefully fold it in half and it's gonna break into two pieces. So now you have two equal pieces and this is the side with the sharp razor and this is the side that you can handle. So now you can use it like a knife and we're gonna be cutting and making sections of the apothecia like this. Okay, so we have our razor, we have our microscope here with our apothecia. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna turn my light on. That's gonna actually make it harder for you to see. So let's turn that light off. So um, if you have a dissecting scope at home, it's much easier to make the section looking through the binocular lenses of your dissecting scope while you cut like this. So you're gonna angle your face in and find the apothecia that you wanna cut and then you can literally make razor thin sections like that. So, and notice that the crustose lichen that I have, which I can show you a little bit closer here. Okay, so the apothecia that I'm sectioning are still attached to the substrate and that's gonna make it a lot easier to cut because it's attached to a stable, a stable substrate. And so if you don't have a dissecting microscope, you're gonna to wanna to just find a nice surface to cut on. And now I'm gonna show you how to prepare the slide ahead of time so that you can easily transfer the little tiny sections into droplets of water on a sliding cover slide. Today, we're gonna to learn how to properly cross section a crustos lichen apothecia for visualizing the spores for crustos lichen identification. Underneath the microscope, I have a small sample of bark with a crustose lichen on it, as you can see here. So I recommend setting this onto the stage of your dissecting, dissecting microscope to begin. And now I'm going to show you what this crustose lichen looks like at about 40x magnification. Okay, here you can see the little apothecia with the thalene margins and the kind of ochre colored center, that's where we're going to be cutting through each of those apothecia using our razor blades, which I'll set up and show you in a moment. Okay, so you should have received some slides and this is what the slides look like. Just made of glass, thin glass here. And you wanna avoid getting your fingers on them because it will make uh, fingerprints that'll make it more difficult to visualize the crustose lichen cross section. So you're just going to set it on your microscope area here. We're going to take our DI water and we're just going to put a little drop right in the center here. Okay. So now from your dissecting kit, you might choose to use a forcep to transfer the sections, or you might just choose to use the tip of the actual razor blade. Um, the capillary action. Uh, will just suck the little section of the um, apothecia that you're making directly into the water. And then you're also gonna wanna have your cover slips handy. So these are your cover slips and you're just gonna grab one by the sides here. Okay, and you don't, again, you don't wanna put your finger in there on it because it'll make a fingerprint. So I'm just gonna have that handy. I'm gonna set it somewhere I can see it so right here next to my sample. Okay, so now, as I mentioned before, it's best to cut through the lens of the dissecting scope, but if you don't have one, or if you have a digital one, it might be harder. And in that case, you're just gonna do the same thing without. But I'm gonna go ahead and like look through my scope here, and I'm gonna find the apothecia that I'd like to cut. 
and I'm just going to start by cutting it right down the center. Okay, so I've made a section right down the center. And now I'm going to stop and I'm going to actually take a picture of this with my phone so that I can uh, include that in the video. Okay, folks, so you can see that I've cut the apothecia right down the center with my razor blade. And now I'm going to make tiny little thin sections, trying to make them one cell thick so that I can visualize the apothecia in cross section. All right, so now I'm just gonna make some tiny little sections like so. Study my razor and just carefully begin slicing as thin as I possibly can. You're really trying to make these one cell thick. Okay, it's not an easy task. The lichen is dry, so I haven't wetted it. And um, that has, you know, some advantages because it's a little easier to slice through, but it also makes things, you know, don't, you don't want to do this with a fan on, okay? Because you really want to stay steady here. So I can see I'm starting to get some thin sections here. And I'm going to go ahead and just make a lot of these sections because I don't want to do this again. So the more I make now, the easier my job will be once I get it in the droplet of water. So you can do several on the slide. So now I'm going to take my forceps. I'm going to just gently pick up these sections as carefully as I can here. And I'm just going to place them in the little droplet of water. And you're going to try to, you know, there's going to be several of them. So I'm going to try to separate them as best that I can so that they're not all clumped together in the water. And I'm just gonna, again, I'm doing as many as I can now, you know, don't just do one because you're really trying to hedge your bets that one of these is thin enough to see all of the characteristics that we're looking for in our apothecia, right? The algal layer, the assay, the ASCO scores themselves. These are all features we're looking for. And I'm actually seeing I have another chance to make some cuts here. So again, this is just really hard. I'm gonna take a deep breath so you're nice and steady, right? And you might have, I see a couple of different age uh, apothecia here. So I'm not, I'm gonna go ahead and cut a couple other ones too, right? Because it could be that the spores are more mature or that they're immature in some of these. So I'm just, that's another thing that I'm, you know, considering here when I'm making these cross sections is like, am I actually gonna get mature spores in the sections that I'm making? So make a couple more, let me go back in and grab them, get them under, get them in there. All right, so. When you're satisfied with the number of sections that you have, you can stop. And now you're going to take your cover slip. Actually, one other thing you can do is you can kind of take this and look at what you have and, you know, just gently, gen ever so gently spread around your sections, right? In hopes that we can get a good view. Once you feel satisfied with that, you can take your cover slip and just gently place it on top. Just let it fall into place. You might want to give it just the gentlest tap to get the, you know, it's not going to be totally flat. And now you're ready to move your slide to the compound microscope. Okay, so this is just to give you kind of a sense of how thin these sections are. You can kind of see there's several different layers of, uh, uh, there's several different cross sections kind of stacked together right here, but this gives you a sense that translucent layer is where the um, hymenium is and where the, apa, the uh, 
of the ascospores are located within the assay. Okay, so a couple of things as you're getting started with Crestos lichen ID using the compound microscope. So I have my slide here where I've just made my cross sections and I'm gonna carefully fit my slide onto the stage. Now I can move the stage back and forth horizontally and forward and backward like this to position it directly over the light source and underneath the lens. So the first thing I'm gonna do is turn the light on. Okay, so now there's light and you can see that the turret is set so that the smallest um, lens is over the slide and that's where you wanna begin of course because we would never want the stage to bump into the, the actual um, slide. And so we never want the lenses to bump into the slide. And so I'm starting with my lowest magnification here and I'm just gonna look in and try to center what I can see in the microscope here. And I'm going to kind of just um, kind of scan in and out until I'm in a crisp focus on what I want to look at. So I can see I have a pretty good view of one of my cross sections, which is great. And I can let in more or less light underneath here to try to get uh, some better contrast, but this looks pretty good. So I'm gonna um, show you some images of this through the microscope that I'll include. Um, but you know, once I'm crisply in focus, I can scan now and make sure I'm looking at my thinnest section, right? Where I can actually see some spores. And that might take some work. You know, you might not have cr uh, cross-sectioned it um, your first time. But there's features of the actual apothecia that you're going to want to see, not just of the spores. So it's really important that you get a full apothecial cross section for your identifications. Okay. So I'm seeing these pretty nicely. And this, you know, I've looked at several different areas of my slide where I have different sections and I'm kind of scanning. Okay. Did I find the thinnest one? And I think I have. So now I'm going to go back to that spot, okay? And I'm gonna center it directly into the center of my slide. And then I feel comfortable moving up to the next magnification. So I'm gonna set to my next magnification. And now I'm only gonna use my fine focus knob. Once you go to the next magnification here, now that I'm at 100X, okay, this is a 10X lens, time to 10X lens in the eyepiece. Okay, 10x lens and eyepiece, 10x lens here. Now I know that I'm at 100x and I'm not gonna use the coarse focus adjustment knob anymore. I'm only gonna use the fine focus. So I'm gonna adjust my fine focus until I see a nice crisp image. Okay, actually I'm gonna need to fine focus here a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now I'm kind of using my fine focus knob. I'm looking for the spores. Do I see any spores? I do. So that's really good news. Um, I can still move laterally. I can move up and down. If I ever get lost in the slide, I can always go back down to the lower magnification. Okay. Great. And then final move is once you're in perfect focus, okay, with your, you can actually use the course adjustment just a little bit, but there's such, such small turns here, okay? And then if you, cause if you move this too far, you're gonna be way out of focus. So I'm really just focusing on my uh, fine focus knob. And now when I'm ready to go up to the next magnification, which is 40 X lens, which is 400. Now I, I'm gonna get a really close up view of my spores in their assay. And I'm only gonna use this fine focus. And I can just, you know, the lens is just about touching the slide, right? So we have to be very, very careful not to use the coarse focus knob here. And this is really gonna allow me to see the spores up close and get a better sense of what I'm looking at, right? For this um, view that I'm looking for, for the identification, I'm fine using the, um, the 100X magnification. So I'm just gonna get it into place here. And now I can actually take some photographs of this through the lens using my cell phone. And um, this will be informative in terms of what I need to, to look at for the identification. So that's just a little intro to how to view spores under the compound microscope. And there'll be more information about Crestos identification 
in the videos that I'm producing that you're able to access on Canvas. Thanks a lot. Okay, so here you can kind of get a view of this cross section. You can see some spores down on the bottom right below the 60 mark. Um, you can see algae in the uh, excapal layer surrounding the hymenium. So this is what it would look at about 400x with a pretty thin cross section.